Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess May and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started ladies, please follow me on Instagram at Call Me Princess May. You can follow my business page on Instagram at The Indigo Woman. And ladies, all this information can be found in my description box. Thank you all to each and every one of you who have subscribed to my channel. I'm currently working on an ebook where in the ebook I am going to teach you about brand image as a high value woman and how to attract a rich life rich man and have a rich aesthetic um for those of you who are looking for that and how to dress a certain way or be a certain way this book will be more fitted to you because it really will teach you how to create your own brand image so then you can have the life that you desire but okay ladies so now let's begin so today I want to discuss how to deal with overly masculine, jealous women as a feminine woman. I know plenty of, of women have asked me about this topic and I thought it was time for me to speak about my past life and the things that I have dealt with and how to overcome it. In high school, I used to always get into arguments or fights with girls due to them being completely jealous of me and me being more girly and having certain things and what I used to wear and things such like that. I've noticed in the black community, we tend to not be so open to black women being more feminine, being soft and things of such like that. They always want to recommend that we are most masculine and hard and strong and you know that strong logic is very toxic to the black woman because it puts us under a level of stress that we just simply do not need and I do not wish that on no black woman however I didn't grow up um like some other women you know with struggling and not getting the things I want or going without meals or anything like that I just didn't go through any of that type of stuff anything I always wanted I've always got from my dad and one thing I've learned from I mean not from my dad from my mom and one thing I did learn from my dad was that he told me when I was very young that um, me being a darker skinned black woman um, it would come with a lot of jealousy from others um, because I was the first woman um, on this earth and um, a lot of women do not like to see black women of darker skin tones being girly, being feminine, um, being more ladylike and just being over like beautiful, you know, in society, they teach us that we are masculine. We look like men and we are just ugly and we're bald headed and all these horrible stereotypes against darker skin, black women. So when you see a black woman who is up with a darker skin tone and she's happy and she's feminine and she's ladylike and she loves herself and stuff like that sometimes it does attract hate now black women in general attract hate and so do women in general attract hate mainly when you're feminine and more um elegant and stuff like that but unfortunately these are the things that um darker skinned black women have gone through which makes a lot of them think that they don't get the pretty privilege makes them think that they aren't deserving of being spoiled by um, a man or let alone living a very spoiled lifestyle they think they are just not good enough and we just have to stop that now what i would like to add is that jealous women um from all over um are women that struggle with um, a level of femininity and don't know how to be a feminine woman of class and do everything from an elegant standpoint um, being beautiful from the inside out and feminine has caused me a lot of side eye or countless times of being um, in arguments or um, receiving negative feedback from other women. For example, you would not think, but when you're out enjoying yourself, enjoying your day, um, you have women that will simply just will turn a nose up at you based on how you present yourself, how you dress, how you choose to wear your hair how you communicate with others, how you do to take care of yourself, or just simple things like that. 
you wouldn't think this stuff matters, but when it comes to women, it do. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies. Dealing with jealousy from other women has not always just been from strangers. It's usually coming from family members or friends who secretly wish they were in your shoes. I personally have experienced this firsthand, which is why I have become more mature and I have become more mysterious about my own personal business. To be a true high value woman, you have to be aware of this kind of energy so you do not miss the red flags when building new friendships with women who come into your life and express how they would like to level up and be more feminine, but they're just using you so they could eventually like talk about you or gossip about you and things such like that. More women who are proud of their femininity and in their feminine journey, sometimes they run into problems where they're scared to wear more um, feminine dresses or dress more feminine or do their makeup or do their hair certain type of ways because of the backlash that they receive. Um, so one of the, um, those type of women, um, they just seem to fall short in their feminine journey because of the backlash. Um, when you return um, that same energy to another woman, it actually motivates her to be the best version of herself and to go out into the world and love herself just like God loves her. Um, you don't want to be around the jealous women who are just miserable Bettys and who love to start arguments with more feminine women, like to pick with them on their jobs about simple things. They like to give you smug looks or they like to knock you down a notch um, due to their own self-hatred ways and refuse to fix. And ladies, when I say don't return the same energy, I mean not allowing them to take you out of character um, as a low value woman. Um, they enjoy taking women out of character and enjoy um, seeing you get upset. And for me, as a queen that I am, I enjoy sitting back laughing at a woman who thinks she is taking me out of character when I give her back a feminine energy and just basically brush her off. Women who struggle with um, being in a femininity and just simply jealous of every woman that comes into their life, they hate that. I have seen on TV shows where women have thrown drinks, they call each other degrading names, physically attack one another, etc. And I find that to be so tacky, which is another reason I'm very picky about the women I decide to allow in my inner circles. This one normally consists of the kind of women who do not know how to act in public, setting up, I mean, or um, act in settings with they lack class, let alone character. Next is a feminine woman dealing with all that negative, toxic energy from those type of jealous women um you should never care what they say or maybe even gossip about you now i will say if you find a friend or family member who has done that it's simply okay to confront them about the issue and cut them off completely cutting someone off is someone i mean cutting someone uh, someone off is best for you because it gives you a level of peace um, instead of dealing with someone who just refused to get help and refused to not be so negative and things such like that. However, another way of dealing with jealous, envious women would be not telling them your business. Um, one thing I've noticed is that when it's your season and God is blessing you beyond measures, um, it will bring out jealousy from other women. I think it's best to share just enough information with others to keep them satisfied versus spreading yourself thin and being an open book. This will leave a lot of room for women who wish they were in your shoes to judge you based on how they you decide to live your life if it doesn't satisfy them. This also happens when you accomplish certain things and they barely clap for you or try to show, I mean, try to throw a little shade at the same time when they're given a compliment. And ladies, if you have ever gone through this or have met a jealous woman in your life, if she was a friend or a family member or something like that, leave it down below and tell me your experience and how you have dealt with that and how you have gotten over it. Also, ladies, you have to watch women like that before labeling them as a friend. If this is happening, you have to learn how to stand up for yourself, accept your own truth and remove those kind of low value spirits from your life. You have to set standards and boundaries that people can't overstep, um, nor will start with a um, great level of respect to you. Those kind of women are normally passive aggressive and difficult to get um, along with after a while, which is why you must be very picky about your inner circles. Lastly, ladies, another reason you may come across a negative Betty or a jealous woman um, that you 
just happen to run across or start feeling this from somebody you already know is because the way a man loves you. I have seen or heard how women will try to look for anything negative in a man to try and convince the woman to go back to her loneliness. I am all for looking out for your friends, be, but be careful of those kind of women um, who are men haters and want you to be miserable with them. And ladies, as a woman, we want to be loved just as much as we want to give it, and there's nothing wrong with that. As a feminine woman who doesn't struggle with no previous trauma like myself, it's a lot easier for me not to feel any jealousy towards more women when it's when it's their season to be spoiled by a man in any shape or form. In fact, that is why I push so hard for you ladies to um, um, take your time when it comes to dating, allowing a man to court you, and most definitely stand on your standards as an elegant woman versus lowering yourself to society norms that has gotten women nowhere. It's simply okay to be with a man who wants to romance you or do nice things for you, and it's definitely okay to have supportive friends around you that are happy you're being treated like that. You want to surround yourself around other feminine women who give you a at-home feeling that celebrate um, your life you chose for yourself that brings you happiness. Furthermore, when spotting a jealous woman, you will also notice they may be the type of woman who enjoy gossiping about other women consistently. Like that, that is all they surround themselves around. Um, they exclude you from certain events or social opportunities due to the attention you may receive. Um, she never seems to compliment you or will steal the attention from you to bring it back on to her due to insecurity. She enjoys talking about you whenever she can or just simply others. And she tries to befriend other women that you have had um, bad encounters with in the past. Those kind of jealous women cannot be trusted. And putting up boundaries with your friendship circles is very important so everyone feel a level of openness let alone respect in order to further the friendship so no one is holding on to things that will blow up later into something that it just shouldn't be overall jealous women are everywhere and some can hide it better than others please be aware that you do not have to keep certain people in your life just because you have history with them that isn't enough if you want if you don't want any bad energy in your life, let alone a certain kind of friend that refused to clap for you when you level up into the woman God wanted you to be. But that is all for today, ladies. Um, remain classy and beautiful. Mwah.